ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक कॉम्पाउंड्स ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक कॉम्पाउंड्स और फर्स्ट वी हैव टू लर्न व्हाट इज ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक केमिस्ट्री ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक केमिस्ट्री इज द स्टडी ऑफ ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक कॉम्पाउंड्स सो द केमिकल कॉम्पाउंड्स व्हिच आर कंटेनिंग एट लीस्ट वन केमिकल बॉन्ड बिटवीन अ कार्बन एटम ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल एंड अ मेटल which is going to include alkaline alkaline earth metals and transition metals so here even the metalloid elements such as your silicon tin and boron they are also considered to be organo metallic compounds which are being used in some industrial chemical reactions and if we talk about the different properties of organo metallic compounds basically the bond between the metal atom and the carbon belonging to the organic compound is going to be covalent in nature and most of the organo metallic compound are going to exist in solid state the compounds consisting of highly electropositive metal such as sodium or lithium are very volatile and they can undergo spontaneous combustion reactions some of the organo metallic compounds will react very sluggishly even towards acid but there are some which will even react actively with what water oxygen carbon dioxide and almost all the solvents so when we say organo metallic compounds there are few compounds which will react very sluggishly towards acid but some will even react actively with water oxygen carbon dioxide and almost all the solvents hence we have different types of organo metallic compound the first one is sigma bonded compounds so basically when we say sigma bonded compounds in chemistry sigma bonds are the strongest type of covalent chemical bond and these are formed by head on overlapping between atomic orbitals so for sigma bonded compounds metal carbon bond is sigma bond that is why it is said as sigma bonded compounds and these are all the few examples of sigma bonded compounds the second type is pi bonded compounds in which the molecules or ions that is going to contain pi bond will act as a ligand for example we can take it in ferrocene or dibenzene chromium and this salt is in which ethylene will act as a ligand and which do not have a lone pair of electron but in ferrocene it is going to represent the number of carbon atom with which metal ion will be directly attached the third type of organo metallic compound is sigma and pi bonded compounds that is metal carbonyls are going to be their examples in which metal carbon bond of metal carbonyls will have both sigma and pi bond character and they will have co molecule as their ligands example we can take as wilkinson's catalyst which is being used as a homogeneous catalyst in the hydrogenation of alkenes which we call it as ziegler natta catalyst so there are three types of organo metallic compounds sigma bonded pi bonded and sigma and pi bonded compounds so when there are different types of organo metallic compounds there should be application of it also organo metallic compounds has a broad range of application in the field of chemistry like in some commercial chemical reaction these compounds are used as homogeneous catalyst and sometimes these compounds are also used in the manufacture of some semiconductors 
which will require the use of compounds such as trimethyl gallium trimethyl aluminum and many more they are also used in many more applications like they are used in the production of light emitting diodes these compounds are used as catalyst and reagent during the synthesis of some organic compounds the complex which is formed from the organometallic compounds are useful in the facilitation of the synthesis of many organic compound hence the organometallic compound has wider applications in our day to day life hence it's very important to know how the organometallic compounds are formed what are its types and what is its application